No, I've just removed those other layers there and gotten back to our original text setting here. And uh, just before we go on, I wanted to show you a couple of things here. You can see this little icon here, this little button, will disable a fill color and leave just the stroke behind if you want to do something like that. If you do, what you see you get here is, uh, again, you see I forgot to select this. I got to make sure that that's selected when I do that. And you see that what happens, and we get just the outline from our stroke. So this will deactivate either the fill or the stroke, depending on which is in the foreground here. Let's go back here and make this red again. And say, okay. In fact, let's make this white. We're just going to work with very simple white text here. I'm going to bring this forward. I'm going to turn off that stroke. You can see the stroke when it's white actually makes that kind of a little bit blurry or a little bit unfocused. And so we're going to just take that off, disable that. So here we are again back in our original text. Now, as I mentioned, we have these transforms down here and we can, as you know, animate these things. We can do keyframes with these things as we've done with all these other layers. But everything happens to the text as a block, as a whole. And that's really not necessarily what we want. And to get really sophisticated text effects, what we're really interested in is being able to affect these characters in the text here individually in different ways. Now we could, if we wanted to, if we had to, we could make individual layers that were each an individual character and sort of animate all of those individually, which would really be tedious and would actually probably be very difficult to make nice smooth animation that way. There are actually quite a few other ways to do that here using the single text. And those are the things we're going to take a look at here. So actually let me just bring this up a little bit and give us a little bit more room to see what we're doing here. I'm going to roll down the text properties here. The first thing we see here is that we have some path options. And there is a way to make the text move along a path. And that path can be a straight path or it can actually be a fairly complex path. The paths that you can have the text move along, you can generate yourself using the pen tool up here. So in addition to doing masking, we can actually just generate straight paths with this. So what I'm going to do here is just grab my pen tool and I'm going to make a simple kind of jaggy path like this. And then as you recall, if I option click on that, I get my handles so I can make this curvy. We do that with all these other ones as well, as long as we're at it. So now I have kind of a nice curvy path here. So. Now we have our path, and I'm going to go back and grab this. And down here, if I roll down the path options, you see that And what I did was I made this path, which is a kind of an open mask, if, if you will, in the text layer itself. And when you do, that path becomes available as a path for sending the text along. So I choose mask one here, which is what that path defaults to. And you see that as soon as I do, the text conforms to the shape and the position of that path. And then when I do that, if I scroll up here a little bit, you see that we have some different options here that now affect how that text is going to conform to that path. And what's more, we have some options here that we can make the text move along that path. So first of all, I'm gonna click right here on first margin. I'm just gonna scrub this and you'll see what happens when I do the text actually goes along that path and in fact kind of falls off the end of the path and goes right out of the frame, which is kind of a cool effect in and of itself. So what I'm doing here is setting the beginning of the place where that text starts and having that locate at different positions along the path. And as I do, you can see there's sort of that, it's a little hard to see against the black background there, but there's that kind of text box that's moving around. And as it does, Moving that margin makes that text slide along the path. Because the text itself is conforming to that path, it's going to follow the shape of the path. And of course, because this is a keyframeable property, as you see, I can keyframe that. So in fact, let me, let's just send this off. Let's get it right off the edge here. You can send it right outside the frame. Set a keyframe there. We'll go to the five second point. And let's just have that thing move right along there. Let me scrub this over like so. And now if we preview that, 
you'll see pretty much what you'd expect. It moves very smoothly along the path, and the characters themselves kind of rotate around a little bit in order to maintain their perpendicularity. And that's because perpendicular to path has been set here. So if I turn that off, click on that and turn it off, those characters are no longer going to sort of wiggle around as they move. They're going to stay vertical, which may make them more legible if that's the effect that you're looking for. It's not quite as cool an effect in a sense, but it does make it a little bit more legible. I can also, if I choose, reverse that. What that's going to do is, as you see, actually reverses the characters themselves and reverses the motion. So now, because the margin is moving from right to left instead of left to right, the animation is as well. Those are some of the things that you can do very simply here with just the what's called text on a path feature in After Effects. Now, let's look at some animation presets that are designed for text that show you some of the really much more sophisticated things that you can do with text here. And then I'll show you how to set up some of those on your own.